Hi, time for another video and this time we're going to look at Microsoft Stream which is part of the Office 365 suite and it's available to all staff and all students in the department and basically it's a video uh, sharing uh, hosting platform which teachers can publish videos to and students can watch videos from but because it's completely authenticated only people within the department have access to it so it's unlike YouTube um, it's a platform that is only for hosting videos for use within the Department of Education um, one thing that um, is special about uh, Microsoft Stream is the ability to have interactive videos and that's something I want to demonstrate in this quick um, tutorial right now so what I've done is I use this create function to upload a video and this is a video that I created previously using a product called Loom um, and it's all about Microsoft OneNote and how to check the size of OneNote notebooks now let's just say this is an instructional video that I've put together as a teacher for example and I want my students to watch the video and at a certain point in the video I'd like them to complete a quiz and that's something that Microsoft Stream allows you to do using this function called interactivity that you can see over here on the right hand side how do you do interactivity well you use another product from Microsoft Office 365 called forms uh, you may have used Google forms before but this is Microsoft forms it's very similar um, but you can do some nice things with it and here I've created a quick two question multiple choice form uh, all about OneNote best practices two questions which of these statements is incorrect and what is the content library in class notebook so they've gone through the video they've got the answer to that question hopefully or those questions and then they've been paused in the video the the um, form comes up they answer the form and then they continue the video that's what the process is expected to do so how do you do it you build the form you come into settings the nice thing about it is this option here record name <coughs> because we've told anyone that's in the organization can respond only it can automatically grab the, the students name and submit that to you when they submit their answers um, which is really nice and then there's another thing that says when it's completed thanks for completing the qu quiz please continue to watch the rest of the video you can even choose to send them an email receipt so what you then do is uh, on the share tab there's a URL for your form that you've created you copy that to the clipboard go back to your form <coughs> put the play head at the point that you'd like the um, the form to kick in at so I'll do it here about 1 minute and 50 and <clears throat> what we'll do is go to interactivity we'll go add a form paste this URL here give it a name and the name will be OneNote quiz it's going in at 150 and I'm going to add that to the timeline so what that's now done is in my form it's put this little dot here and that dot when the playhead gets to it will stop playing the video show the form and then get the kids to answer it and then it will allow them to continue playing it now you can send them this URL here to come and watch it in stream or you can copy that and go over to your Microsoft Teams for example you can post in a new thing in here uh, OneNote video <coughs> and quiz and instead of uh, you can put some text in here but uh, instead of just pasting the link to that video you can come in and add a stream link in paste from the stream you paste that in that that point and it will go and find that you view that and it will then put that straight into the video into the stream post when I post that that is now uh, a video posted in Microsoft Teams we can come along and play that it will automatically jump across play that video for them uh, this is now playing on my um, screen and I could skip straight forward here to the point where in the video it's going to automatically automatically jump in and play my form so here we are it's showing my form on the screen and uh, I can answer this question here and I can answer this question here I can say send me a copy of it if I want to submit it and what that does is submits it straight to me because I'm the I'm the teacher in this case and what will happen is uh, a message will come up on the screen saying it's 
been submitted thanks for completing the quiz continue the video and it then continues so that is interactivity in Microsoft stream I could have also uh, used the embed code in here uh, and pasted that little trick part remember this little bit here you can paste just this part into your video and it will still do exactly the same thing which um, will stop for Microsoft Forms to display. Hope that was of use. Microsoft Stream, definitely something well worth having a look into.